Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm great. How was your day today? Yeah, it was okay. Pretty much the usual. You tell, how was your day? Yeah, my day was great, you know, as usual, I'd say. But still now, our winter holidays are going on. So it was pretty good. <laughs> so if winter holidays are going, so how are you spending your days? Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm doing my homework and I'm also reading uh, other other books of my school. Yeah, and um, like, you know, it's laser time. I'm spending yeah. a lot of time, uh, <laughs> like alone. Well, yeah. it's nothing much, I'd say, but mm. still, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Holidays are always fun, no? Yeah, always whatever fun. that is. My school days when <laughs> I was in school back then. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy I'm out of it now. That's good. What class are you in? I am in class eight. Eight. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you're having your winter break since when? Um, since twenty fifth to third January. Third January. Okay, that's yeah. good. Just why well, a couple of days only, you know? Early yeah, only like one 15, week and a few days. days. It's too less. We don't get yeah, winter good. holidays that much. Hmm. It wasn't the same when I was in school, you know, because. We used to get winter break from twenty fourth December till fourteenth Jan. That's how That's long our winter lot. break is. We are not so lucky. Ah, not so lucky. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. But yeah, you know, so you guys have had a pretty big uh, home time because of the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how was your Christmas this year? For us, it's not Christmas because uh, my parents. Marriage anniversary falls on Christmas, so it's more of that than Christmas uh, okay. for us. Okay, so okay. that that day is marked as something else. We oh, okay. we celebrate it in some in some other way. So it's not about Christmas for us. It's more uh, okay. Okay. So it was good. It was nice. How did you spend your Christmas? Yeah, it was it was nice. I visited the church. I went to the went to a church. And yeah, it was decorated, so we took some pictures and all. It was good. Okay, that was during the daytime. What did you do in the night time? Uh, I visited the church at night. At night, okay. Yeah. And the morning was pretty much the usual. Yeah, pretty much the usual. Yeah. Pretty much the usual. Okay, all right. What number of session is this for you on flipping off? Uh, I don't know. I have to see. Just an approximation. Maybe nine or ten. Nine like or ten. This. Okay, so how are your sessions going? It's pretty good, you know. It's so nice talking to people. I love talking to people a lot. Like oh, wow. it's one of my hobbies. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too great. It's great. Yes. So this is your eighth or ninth session. So have you tried eight or nine different people, or did you repeat? No, I tried different people. Okay. So how did you find it? Yeah, everyone was good. It's some mm -hmm. everyone something was special about everyone. You know they are all so friendly and are, they are also creative. They correct our mistakes in such a way that we don't feel shameful or something like that. So it's it's really it's really it's, awesome. How did you find the app in the first place? Uh, I I saw it on YouTube. On YouTube. Okay, okay, that's good. And apart from taking the sessions, is there anything else you're doing for your spoken English practice? Yeah, I I see many videos on YouTube. Like you know, there are many channels that uh, that teach uh, that teach you like British English, American English, and all those. So yeah, I see those videos. Okay, and uh, you watch some sort of web series or movies in English. Are you a fan of that? Yes, I do. I do watch movies. I I don't really watch web series a lot, but yeah, I do watch a lot of English movies. English movies. Okay, so yeah. which one have you watched recently? Uh, uh, okay, so it's well, I was, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, some, uh, a month ago, I guess there was a movie, it was not so good, I would say. His <laughs> name was Jungle Cruise, so okay, I watched that, yeah. Okay, Jungle Cruise, you didn't like yeah. it, okay, no, not so, so much, I'd say. Do you have a favorite movie? No, I don't really have, but there is a very good movie that I really love. I'd not say it's my favorite, but it's Soul. Have you have you seen the movie Soul? Soul? No, no. Yeah, it's an English movie. It's really good, I'd say. Yeah, I love that movie a lot. Okay, what is it about? Uh it's about like you know, uh, it tells us how life is very important to us, and to reach a aim, we just 
we just give our life away just to reach our aim we work hard but we don't see the little good things in life like we mm. don't we cannot enjoy our life a life is given to us to enjoy and mm. we cannot do that so what is the use of it so that is the movie about how a person understand understands that what life is actually about oh wow okay pretty deep and i think the name is quite good so little so yeah okay do you have a favorite genre genre yeah it may be fantasy cuz okay. uh, well i love everything i love detective fantasy mm-hmm. I, every genre is my favorite but fantasy okay. yes i read books so fantasy is also one of my favorite favorite genre. terms of book okay yeah. do you like horror uh not really i do watch horror but it's not that much of I a hate detail. horror i absolutely what's the use of watching if you're scared exactly and people yeah. who watch it like with such enthusiasm that oh my god we're watching no. a horror movie I'm like it's not cool you you shouldn't it's not stuff. i don't like horror at all i don't like anything that makes me jumpy or that oh my god it's coming out of nowhere it's like yeah and what i have one of my my one of my friends just loves horror so everything she watches is horror and i don't know why she loves that and whenever i'm going to her house she will always watch horror movies and we are going to get scared all the time oh my god i i hate i hate horror stuff although the irony of this is that i have watched a lot of horror stuff i don't know why i yeah. hate watching them but i watch them i don't i have yeah. no re- why I, i cannot even explain why i do that yeah but it's bad it's bad anyway okay so you have never tried anything horror any movie that you've watched yes yes i have seen like i have uh, seen annabel annabel mm-hmm. comes home yeah i have seen them and then maybe it there is a movie known as it and then it. yeah some some horror movies i have seen have you watched the conjuring it has like two parts um i don't think so i watched the entire movie but one time it was going on on tv and i i felt so scared that i shut the tv out i didn't watch and it you entirely. wouldn't believe that the tv was actually shows you the censored part it is not showing you the scenes which are very scary i realized that oh, i was like so i don't even want to watch that <laughs> that's why i don't like horror stuff i'm like i'm a romance and a comedy person i would watch comedy yeah. but i cannot yeah watch. comedy i love comedy i cannot watch that uh, horror it I, yeah. i hate it but anyway people should stop making horror stuff i believe but there are people who are crazy about horror stuff i don't know yeah. why so i'm like keep it to yourself no thank yeah. you <laughs> right. yeah okay all right so if i ask you what do you think are the weak areas for you when it comes to speaking in english uh miss what am i good at what do you think you're weak at ah uh, what am i weak at a uh, vocabulary of course i cannot find good words that is a really big problem and sometimes i speak too fast and my pronunciation is horrible sometimes yeah mm-hmm. so these two vocabulary and pronunciation are the most i mean the weakest part of my spoken english okay for your pronunciations i would say if you are in a continuous habit of watching movies and stuff then it would definitely help don't worry about it yeah okay and okay till now i don't think that you speak too fast i think it's okay but still if you feel like that then it's okay if we work on your tone on your speed as well but that will only come when you are in a continuous habit of talking right yeah, okay yeah. Uh, at your place do you talk to somebody in english no there is no one oh god okay so you talk to your parents in what language bengali my mother tongue is oh. bengali okay that is a problem okay so where exactly do you get a chance to speak to people in english well i only get a chance in school and right now school is closed so there's nothing to speak yeah okay you get uh, those online classes yeah we do get online classes but still we don't speak so much you know only the teacher speaks and we just listen so it's not so much of a practice of english i would say no true 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 okay but <clears throat> excuse me when you were in school when you had the time to go to school were you like a regular speaker over there 
yeah we always uh, we used to always speak in english over there as it is english medium school so with teachers with students yeah with classmates friends everyone oh, used to speak english that is good that's good but again i would say if you are watching anything in bengali or in hindi then i would say cut out of it because your speaking practice is minimal not getting that much of an exposure yeah and yeah it's okay it's understandable so if you're going to keep yourself surrounded you're listening to more of it then the problems that you're having with vocabulary and pronunciation they would get better yeah right okay because i think movies reading newspapers you read novels also these are yeah. the best sources for strengthening your vocab yeah yeah the right best sources because you get everything out of it okay uh, do you read newspapers yeah i do sometimes i do mm-hmm. and for some uh, for some months also we didn't even buy newspapers right now so we don't because yeah. of covid mm-hmm. it's okay you can read newspapers online that would do yeah we can i that know that do. of course that becomes an additional screen time but what can we do everything is digital these yeah, days yeah so right all right it doesn't matter but again i would say, what newspaper do you read um i don't know maybe india today or something like that okay there is hindustan times and there are times of india times of india right i do read that if you want to start the vocabulary thing then hindustan times is the best to start with the basic then okay. we move on to times of india and at the last we go to the hindu because it has a hindu. higher level of vocab i like yeah, that yeah. but again if you want to start with something always start with hindustan times okay 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 let's just know from you if you found new words how do you proceed how do you go about it yeah well if i find any word in a book or something at mm-hmm. first i cannot i cannot really use it at first so you know when i read a word a uh, multiple times at that time it gets stuck in my head and then but it's it, but it's still it's still to there i mean i cannot speak it though it's in my head but i still cannot speak it so you know if one time i just use it means in any word then i remember it yes this can be used in this type of sentences so after mm-hmm. that that words becomes like fluent in my mouth okay that's good uh whenever you find a word see the human tendency is that we look for its meaning right we yeah. should know what that word means so if you want to grasp that word in a better way once you found the meaning always try to form a sentence with it just underneath yes yes that's the basic step because people yeah. just when they find a word they look up for its meaning yeah okay we we got we've got a new word but that's not just it right you right to frame a sentence of your own so that you know that you grabbed it perfectly yeah okay it doesn't matter if you don't get the word like initially because you just got that word so it's okay take your time wrap it around your brain and then wrap your brain around it both would do it's just how you go about it but very important to fit it into your head at that time that you have to frame a sentence yeah you know after you frame a sentence at that time the word gets stuck but yeah. for how many times you will read it it will not it will not exactly because you know the meaning but where did you put it into your sentence yes yes right that will only happen when you have a sentence of your own then you know then you have an example yeah. oh okay this is how it is used so now you can frame multiple sentences of your own. yeah yeah okay so this is a very important step that generally people skip out so it's good that you are framing your sentences after you form the uh, meaning so that you can grasp it okay yeah okay and don't worry if you feel like okay i have got this word like so many times but still i'm not able to frame it it's fine it happens you just need to get more used to it yeah that is all okay but yeah i believe your speech is good you have a good command over the language but any doubts any questions you have from your side you can ask uh well uh not really i would say just the vocabulary i mean like you know when it comes to pronunciation like i don't know which one is uh which one is british english american english or what should i use mm. so what type of pronunciation should i use mm. 
See, in India, it is a notion that we have to follow the British accent. The British accent, right. Okay. That's how we are framed. We cannot really follow American. That's American, the thing. But I don't feel that way. Follow whichever thing you want. Okay. Your choice. We got freedom for a reason. So it's yeah. okay. Choose your accent. It doesn't really matter. Whatever pronunciation fits you, use that. Don't get stuck on it. Okay, Very that's true. what I've done. I've never followed British accent. I don't like it. So I don't yeah. use it. It's my choice. Yeah, so, because all the movies are mostly in American accent. So what I hear is American accent. How can I American speak accent. British accent at that exactly. time? Exactly. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Whatever you like, whatever your tongue is molded into, use that. Yeah. You don't have to get indulged in any other thing. It's a waste of time. Yeah, okay. truly. Plus, one or two things that I noticed, you know that you have to use an as an article before a vowel. Yeah. Okay. What you do is you use a before you use a vowel. Okay, okay. Okay. If you'll rewatch this, you'll get that you use like two times. It was like, we always have a aim in life. When yeah, and, and, it's an and aim, aim, right? Right. And when you say, I do watch a lot of, sorry, you said, I do watch uh, an English movie back in like, yeah, yeah. again, it becomes an English movie. Um, so right. It's a vowel. That is yeah. one. Second, uh, writing one word for you in the chat. How do you pronounce it? This one. Everyone. What have I written? Everyone. Can you hear me? No, I've written some. Uh, uh, look at your chat box. What have I written? Oh, chat? no, there is nothing. Wait a second. Yeah, wait. Pronunciation. It's pronunciation. Pronunciation, okay. When you use it, P R O N O U N C, that's pronounce. That's okay. But when there is an Asian at the end, it becomes pronunciation. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay. So it's not pronounced as pronunciation, it becomes pronunciation. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. When you say pronounce, it's okay. That's correct. But when mm. there is an Asian at the end, yeah, so our sound goes a uh, sound, pronun pronunciation. Uh. Yeah, right. That's the correct pronunciation of pronunciation. Pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I do believe that the grammar is good. It's not wrong. Yeah, the article thing. That's okay. No, no big deal. You can work on it. Yeah. yeah. Make sure that whenever there's a vowel, you're using an.